Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare. Today we're doing a review on Virus Vodka. And the one real good thing about this is the name itself, Virus Vodka. And I'm a pop culture cocktail creator. This is one thing I've been trying to get hold of for a while. And the name like Virus Vodka, that's countless things you can design off that. Make it zombie, werewolf, vampire. Put it in a Bloody Mary and just call it like a vampire Mary or something like that. It's just so many different ideas. This would be perfect for a Walking Dead cocktail. You want to make a cocktail based off the strain, Resident Evil, whatever. It's a perfect idea for it. And it's a nice neutral base spirit. Vodka is one of the most neutral ones out there. You can put it in pretty much anything and it will come out to be a real good cocktail. You can add your different liqueurs, maybe a couple other spirits if you want to make like a, a Long Island. How about the uh, Dead Island Iced Tea with the Virus Vodka? That would be a pretty good idea because I actually made Dead Island Iced Tea. I might use this next time just for health, it's just to do it. But one thing about this that a lot of people are going to like, because it's really popular now, because a lot of people are want to go gluten-free because they feel the gluten will make them be healthier and lose some weight in the long run. But this is gluten-free. It's six times distilled. It's kosher. It's going to be a nice, clean flavor to it. Six times distilled. It's going to take a lot of the impurities out of it, but it's also going to have not as strong of a flavor to what it has, which I'm kind of curious to see what's in there. If it's grape base, if it's rice base, because it doesn't specify on the site, which is surprising. It just says that this is the virus that started the whole zombie vampire werewolves in the apocalypse. Yeah, kind of cool story, but don't really tell exactly what it's based off of. Maybe it's a secret, maybe that's why we want to say it's gluten-free. But to be gluten-free, obviously, no grains, period. No wheat, no barley, as far as I know, no corn, any of that stuff. That's grain based, it's gluten-free. It's also a brand new bottle, never been opened, completely sealed. I have no clue what this is going to taste like. I didn't watch Derek Schomer's review on Common and Cocktail, so I don't know his point of view is on it. I haven't watched any other ones out there. Just basically what I've seen and what I've been hearing about it. I've been wanting to try it out. I've been talking to the company for a while. Right now, they're only based in Texas. They're hopefully expanding out. I think in maybe Oklahoma, possibly now, they're in. It's like a state right above it. Hopefully, they make their way to the east and the west coast so a lot of people can get it. And if it can't get directly in store, hopefully, online distributors, be it uh, drinkofnewyork.com or joecanalsofberlin.com, just different things you can actually purchase different vodkas or different spirits from. Hopefully, you'll be able to find this online. But let's see exactly how this tastes. I'm actually really curious. And there's a lot of these bottles now have this. But this is also one thing that's kind of cool about this particular bottle. It's like a beaker. It's kind of has that science aspect like you would have with a, a zombie outbreak or a virus outbreak. So that's actually pretty cool in itself. I can't remember the exact term that this is called. It's a flask, basically, but it's an idea. There we go. A splash of water. Just to bring out the aroma. It does have a little bit of lacing, so it does have some sweetness to it. it leads me to believe it's possibly, might be a little bit, maybe a sugar grape mix, or definitely has some type of a, maybe grape in there. It does smell very clean. It's sweet too. The one thing about being a six times still, it's going to take a lot of the flavor out of that. So it's going to take away a lot of impurities too. So, kind of hard to stir, but it does taste, it does smell pretty good. So it tastes like. It's pretty good. It's nice, smooth. Even just a couple drops of water doesn't really have a real strong burn. I believe this is your standard 40 ABV. Yeah, 40% ABV. So it's like a standard vodka, so it's not any high proof. Definitely no Everclear. Everclear is insane if you ever had it. Especially here in 
in New Jersey, possibly California. I think every player is maybe 75%. Californians, you, if you give us, if you take our Everclear, you will never want to have it again. You'll burn the hell out of you. But this does have a very good, sweet flavor to it. Still kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what it's made from. It's, to me, it has more of a sweeter, like, almost sugar base to it. Because I had, like, Lazy Eye Distillery Vodka, which is 100% grape. And you can taste the grape in that. This, I don't really get that strong grape flavor. Although they're also not six times distilled. I think they're maybe, when I went to a distiller, I think about maybe two or three times still. I'm not 100% sure. So you will get a little more of that flavor out of that. But that's a distinct grape flavor. This doesn't really have that distinct grape flavor to it. But it is definitely gluten free. It's possible it may even be rice. But it is very sweet and it's has a real good flavor to it. And it's not my burn. This is something I can actually really just enjoy with ice. It'd be perfect. So I'm going with possibly it's sugar based. Don't quote me on it. I probably had to do a little more research later on, find out, maybe contact the company and say, ask them what it's based off of, if it's gluten, gluten free. But it's definitely something worth looking into. If you're in Texas, I definitely suggest. Go to one of your local distributors, buying this. You'll definitely not be disappointed. If you're not in Texas, try to get the word out. Talk to people that you know. Talk to your local bars, local uh, liquor stores. Tell them about this product called Virus Vodka. It's a very unique product. It's something that's definitely going to sell. Just alone from the visual of the bottle. I mean, it's shaped like a flask. It's... It's very unique. It's something that's going to stand out. You put this amongst a whole bunch of bottles, just standard, like, I don't know, like uh, Sobieski's or uh, Smirnoff's and stuff like that, and you put this in there, guarantee people going to want to buy that because they'll be like, oh, man, that's pretty damn cool. And then just buy it, just sheer look, sheer look alone. But they're also going to be very satisfied because it is a very good vodka. It's definitely something looking in, worth looking into. So hopefully very soon... As they say, the virus spreads and it gets throughout most of the United States. I'm actually really looking forward to it actually coming here in New Jersey. I am very pleased I finally got a bottle of this. I've been trying for a while, as I said. And I'm definitely not disappointed. It's really good. It's a sweet flavor. It's be perfect in many cocktails. And many, many pop culture ideas I could think of with this. I've been waiting to get this because I have a lot of ideas for this brand. And it's definitely going to get the word out there. Definitely spread the virus. Let people know about this. You'll love it. Guaranteed. I hope you enjoyed this this review. You'll see the link below. It's virusvodka.com. You can visit their site. It has a full story. If you want to actually... It's kind of cool what the story is. It says, Legend has it that all of Earth's unique creatures derive from one main source, one main virus. That spread and mutated into several strains to bring vampires, werewolves, zombies, and the like. It's also said that this virus will one day bring about the apocalypse. This is definitely something that's unique. Is they're trying to give it a bit of a story. Saying that this brought upon all the monsters that you know today. Maybe. Yeah, Patient Zero started off. But definitely check out their site. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Flash Spirit Cocktail. Subscribe to our channel. Submit your cocktails to find a link below. As always, drink responsibly.